Hello there folks. So today I'm going to be talking about selling. I'm going to be talking about a little known tip that might change your selling game as far as um, I'm concerned. Now, uh, I'm going to be talking about um, something that is very misunderstood and uh, rarely applied perfectly or correctly uh, to warrant uh, the difference it can make in a sales game. So, I'll be telling you this, that people buy when they feel understood, not when they understand you. Yes, I'm going to say it again. People buy when they feel understood, not when they understand you. Okay? So, you see, in most uh, courses, in most classes, in most any kind of teaching about selling, there's a whole lot of emphasis on understanding your product okay so as a salesperson as a marketer you are expected to understand your product and so it has become the key thing that people will emphasize on you know people will tell you you need to understand your product you need to understand your product okay so and because of that we get so caught up in this product knowledge that we go out there with uh, almost um a target to demonstrate that we actually understand our product okay so we go out there to showcase the keyword being to showcase a product right so uh while that is so important there is something you need to understand if you want to make your sales quick and if you want to make your sales repetitive and in fact if at all you want to make the selling experience anything exciting and worthwhile and this is exactly what i just told you that people will buy when they feel understood not when they've understood not when they've understood you so i'll give an example i like to give examples uh, every time i give a tip so that you can see how you can play this in your own sales game so i'm going to take a very simple Thing, like selling clothes I love clothes because they are close to my heart All right now uh, though I wear black right um, and that's another story but anyway so clothes let's say someone walks into your shop where you sell clothes right so instead of going you know going on and telling them so much about your clothes what you have in store and uh, and then the different you know brands that you you sell and all that stuff that will demonstrate how much you understand your product you probably will want to greet them first and then you ask them what brings them today okay what brings them today or what are we buying today right so they will say let's say they will say i'm looking for a pair of jeans okay so you'll ask them um, um about their preference do you have any preference do you have in terms of brands do you have any preference in terms of color do you have any preference in terms of material do you have any preference in terms of design do you just like the plain ones or the rugged ones or do you like um you know you know do, do you like the baggy ones or the tight ones so there are a whole lot of things you're going to ask them in order for you to understand them all right Ask them about their previous experiences. Ask them about if they are wearing jeans. Ask them about the jeans they are wearing. How does how does it feel? Do they like it? Um, are they looking for something similar, or do they want to de you know depart from that kind of stuff? And maybe they are looking for something more exciting or something different. In short, all I'm trying to say is go in there and ask questions. Get to know them and listen carefully. When they felt that you've understood them, they will buy. And like I always say, you are always selling. Don't sell yourself short. That's it for today. I just wanted to give you that tip. I wanted to make it uh, short and precise and to the point, right? If you love the stuff that I share here, you can subscribe to my channel. And if you want to be reminded every time I share my stuff, you can hit the bell button. Until next time, have a good one and sell like a boss.